I've been doing more planning and we are going to two mega events in the trip coming up soon. We're going to the block party in Seattle and then the next day we're going to the uh, Going Ape mega event which is about an hour east of Seattle. So we're going to have to backtrack about an hour to get there, but that's okay. And we'll find the um, the Ape Cache, the Tunnel of Light, Mission 9 Ape Cache, which went missing, but they have a uh, tribute or something like that, and it still counts for the triad because we found the headquarters and the original stash on our last trip up to Seattle. So finding this Ape Cache will complete that. And also, geocaching challenges is a new thing that came out. I haven't really been interested, but all the challenges codes start with CX instead of GC. And so, we're going to go find CX1, which is the very first challenge ever published. So we're going to find that. Plus the mega event for going ape. And I'll put some details in the description of the caches and we will be visiting those two places on the 18th and the 19th of August. Anyway, this is a list of things that we have to get ready. Plus anything else that we can think of. So I have to start collecting so we can get everything ready to go because I want to be prepared before we leave so I'm not trying to figure out everything the day before we leave. So let's go find some of these things. Tent. Found a tent. Let's get it down. Yes. That will be my home for about three weeks. So I've got a few more things ready and I was just in my mind going over some of the things that we'll be doing and it is going to be a completely full three weeks. Um, this is just some of the things off the top of my head that I can remember that we're doing. We are going <clears throat> we're going through the California Valley area, uh, Yosemite National Park. We're going to be going on the extraterrestrial highway through Nevada in the desert, uh, the Mojave Desert. We're going to be going by Area 51. Uh, in Utah, we're going to be right next to the Bonneville Salt Flats. Um, we're going to be going up through Idaho. That's probably mountains. Um, Montana, we're going to be visiting Missoula. Uh, which is actually where the cache is that one of my trackables went missing so we're gonna recreate that trackable and put it back in the same cache it went missing from so that'll be cool and then we're gonna go across to Seattle to the Grounds Peak headquarters for their block party and we're gonna come back a little bit do the whole ape cache tunnel of light thing uh, the very first challenge uh, complete the triad. Uh, let's see what else. Complete two mega events, one right after the other on two different days. And then when as we're heading back down through Oregon, we're gonna find two of the oldest geocaches still in existence. Um, they number them sequentially, and we're gonna find GC12 and GC17, which are the 12th and 17th caches ever hidden and 12 is actually the oldest one that still is in existence. All the 1 through 11 uh, have been archived and no longer exist. So we're going to find the oldest, ca oldest cache still in existence and the fifth oldest. Um, so that'll be cool. And probably some other things too, I don't know. But anyway, that's kind of like an overview of what we're going to be doing. Oh yeah, and the ET Trail is 2,000 caches, so yeah, that's more than I've found since 2005. So actually I started at the end of 2005, so 
from 2006 to 2012. That's six years I've been geocaching. I'm going to find more than I've found in that time in three weeks. Actually, in four days. I'm going to find more than I've found ever. So that'll be crazy. But anyway, that's coming up. So probably my videos up until that point are just going to be updates about what we're doing and how we're getting ready and stuff like that. So hopefully I get lots of uh, interest and I get lots of people who want to watch it because I think it'll be really cool. But anyway, uh, that's it for today. So I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Oh yeah, happy new month.